All right, uh, I got to do this before the wife gets home and get it cleaned up or I'm going to get in trouble. But I'm going to make me some smoke bombs. Uh, to do that, got just a regular old workshop pot, whatever you use to melt this in, you don't want to use for food, so it's a workshop pot. I've got some bodies. I've got some cannon fuse. Got a wooden spoon, both to stir up my mix and also to uh, to ram in my uh, bodies. You don't want to use a metal stirrer in a metal pot. You don't want these sparks. Then I've got me some potassium nitrate. This stump grinder, stump remover. It's 99% potassium nitrate. It's not as good as the pure chemical you can get from a fireworks supply store, but it's a lot easier to get. Then I've just got me some regular table sugar. By weight, the good recipe, 60 grams of potassium nitrate to 40 grams sugar. You've got a little fudge factor in it, but depending on how you mix this oxidizer with the fuel, you can get gunpowder, or you can get smoke, or you can get um, rocket fuel, right? So you want to stick with three parts potassium nitrate to two parts sugar and I'm gonna use a plastic measuring cup to do that. You don't wanna make huge amounts of this at a time. So I'm gonna stick to I'm just going to melt that slowly and stir it up with a bamboo skewer until it gets to be about um, peanut butter consistency. Okay? You don't want to overcook this and let it get brown and black and burnt because you don't want to ignite it on your stove. Okay? So as low as you can. Stir constantly and don't leave it. All right, see how it's starting to melt? See how it's melting? Use hole, use in. Back a little around the top. And I usually only do a couple of these at a time so I can put the uh, mix back on the heat. Now normally colored smoke isn't done this way, but I saw this and wanted to experiment. I've got a red crayon in there, and uh, I'm melting it up with my leftover and mixing it up real good.
If a little good's more is better, here's the leftovers.